Howdy, howdy. I want to take a second here, do a little update on the 68 Camaro. We started doing a little bit of sanding, hopefully getting ready in the next week or so to start actually cutting it back out in the Victory Red. Started doing a little bit more work. We did bedline the inside of the cow. That way if moisture sets, ain't got a problem. Sanded it down. By the way, that's kind of a pain in the butt, but I have found that the little grinder, if you do the wire wheel on that, like the pencil tip wire wheel that goes into a drill, what's weird, if you spin it wide open, it fans out. And that's how I cleaned that up real good. All the way across. And I did some Osfo, let it sit too, just to make sure, killed it. Been working a little bit on this on top of the dash. You'll see it's still right here a little bit wavy. So we'll have to do probably one more coat of slick sand on there. And then inside the car, got some bed liner. So we bed lined the, pretty much the entire floor. It's black inside the car. Sanded it all down to bare metal. And there it is. There's the tool. So if you want to see it, once again, it's a regular pencil tip, but once again, by the time you turn it up, be careful because it'll shoot those wires out everywhere because the jokers are no, no joke. But it does work really good at clean stuff and confined spaces. I am starting to sand a little bit on the dash. I need to pull the vents out so I can paint the dash. And then for the back, we just did it gray. And that's what that quartz bed liner is right there. So I did that. Got that in there. I had to go in here, and I'll show you some stuff too. I didn't realize working on the car. I guess the person before me, because they are the ones that did the, the sheet metal work, or at least most of it. <coughs> They did not weld the lip here, so I had to weld that in onto to the quarter. I had to come in here, and this is why there's a little bit of body filler back here, because it bubbled it all out when I had to weld the filler panel to the quarter, so we fixed all that in there. The inner to outer wheelhouses also had to be addressed. Bedlined it, once again, it's all gray, so it looks really pretty. And then also the inside of the quarters and where the quarter meets the rocker down there in the bottom on the inside on both sides had to be welded up too it's all done not a whole lot of work it's just kind of confined space making sure you got good grounds but got that buttoned up now it's at the point now where we got to probably get to start doing a little bit of the body work stuff to the car to make sure it's really really nice but you'll see real fast how good the gray looks and we got a wet sand. There's a small low spot right here in the deck lid I gotta fix right there. And then start cutting that out. Sanding the spoiler, blocking everything. But the panel alignment is pretty decent on the car, but most everything is GM panels. And just to show you real quick, even the quarters are brand new GM. You might be able to see it if I wiggle up in there. So you'll see it right there. Got GM quarters on it. The guy had it before me. He ended up buying GM quarters. I think he said it, I got receipt for GM deck lid. I believe the tail panel's been changed out here too. Looking at the welds and stuff here. So it's, the stuff fits pretty decent. So it shouldn't require too, too cold much work to get this thing buttoned up and then this side started blocking on it again sanding it and once again there was a couple dings like straight up and down here from where it was moved but they were they were pretty straight i just want to make sure to keep the lines just like the yellow car i want this thing really pretty straight i do think i'm gonna go ahead and do the rally sport conversion on this one so it's a little different so it'll be red rally sport I'm torn between the black, just no stripe, or the black stripe like on the yellow car in here. In between, which one I want to do. Do the, that stripe on it. I'm not sure which one will work better. And that, I'm definitely going to paint it, not do the vinyls. As you see, that didn't fit as well up front. And I tried everything I could to wiggle that back and forth. But I think I'm going to paint it on and just kind of bury it in the clear. Because this is originally a butternut yellow car and i figured it'd be kind of weird to have two butternut yellow 68 camaros that'd be a little weird unless i was going to go out and do some catfishing or something you know this one small block now it's got that big block blower motor in it
that's pretty much what we've been doing on this car so if you don't mind stay tuned so you're gonna see a lot of blocking then we're gonna have to do at least coat the whole car one more time and sl get slick sand on it and block it all out make sure everything's good I need to take some time and tap in where the screws are for the rockers there's a few of those that were banged up I need to take a little bit of time to them make sure they're fit finished is nice but I do think I have door gaps pretty good door gaps top bottom so the front end needs to go back on it and it's all AMD I had the GM panels on the front of the car but they were probably late 80s early 80s Reaper or GM fenders and they just did not fit honestly they did not fit as good as the, fin the AMD fenders I have the gaps and all are better at the tops and bottoms the GM fenders had an excessive gap right here where it was just mooned out and same thing here like it was a big big gap where the newer AMD tooling just it fit way better so get that done paint that I need to order headliner bows probably wouldn't hurt soon to put the headliner in it too to get that all taken care of because that's definitely something I want to do before I start putting glass in it um, and then figure out how I'm going to end up doing the radio because I absolutely do not want to cut this package tray I want to definitely put a, a radio in it and need to do the little studs here for the glass but I got the, the book in there that shows me where to put those in here I never noticed it's got these little triangles in here and the actual markings on it on that roof skin but yeah please stay tuned we'll do a lot more to this hopefully end up getting the tires and wheels mounted and balanced too for it and then we'll have two 68 Camaros thanks for watching